Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So guys, it's been a while. I've got quite a lot of pickups, quite a lot of pickups. So this video is basically going to be around what I picked up over the last couple of weeks from charity shops, online, uh, and a lot of this stuff I've either be going into the collection, the hold, the hold of retro goodness. Some of it will be going, no doubt, online, see uh, what prices are. And then the last bit will be going into the CEX pile. The CEX pile is picking up. I've had a lot of feedback about, Scott, you need to get out of there quite quickly and get your CEX pile. Get rid of it because prices are starting to come down a little bit on DVD box sets. Uh, so with that in mind, let me just start going through what I've got because there's three bags for life. There's quite a bit. Uh, and we've got some online stuff. So I'm going to get quite quickly in it. And look, I've got a little table. I've got a little table. But firstly, we're going to start with the big items. I'd say the big items. So... One of the charity shops I went into, this paid quite a bit for this. I think it was, I want to say £10, uh, but God, I never, ever see anything Fraggle Rock related. Never seen anything Fraggle Rock, and it's sealed as well. I did pull off the lid. It needs a little bit of a clean uh, in terms of there's a little bit of dust, but I did pull, I said I pulled the lift off. It feels quite tight now. Uh, yeah, it does come off. Uh, just to see, but everything's in there. Guys, it's never been touched. It's never been taken out, which seems weird. If you had this in the 80s, this was given to you or something. Uh, but yeah, a little tea set. I say a little tea set, is it? Four cups, 23 tea set piece, quality tea set. So yeah, I loved it more for the art, the box, the art, and I thought that would look fantastic. So that's for the collection at the moment. Don't even know what the resale value is with one of those, because I wasn't actually looking to do that when I picked it up. Uh, Oh, oh, it's a balancing act. Let's bring that up. So this was brought offline, and this is brought from I Remember These. So Daniel, I Remember These. Uh, I'll put a little link in the corner. But yes, if you've been following for a while now, you know that I picked up the Turtle Sewer box. I've picked up the Turtle Van. I've got a couple of the toys now in terms of the... I'm only after the four Turtles, uh, and I thought I need to pick up the Blimp. Now, the box, obviously it's seen better days, so they're a little bit puffed out, but... It closes, it stands okay, he says. It did stand okay. It might be because I've had it on the floor. But yes, pick this up. So I was happy with this. This is just going to collection. Everything's there as well. The little booklet, uh, the missiles, etc. So I've got that. Let's put that down there straight away, guys. Let's put my Fraggle Rock on top of that. Now let's get into some of the smaller bits just to begin with. So gaming-wise, some of the games I've picked up. And one of the games is down in the house because I'm giving it to uh, Ed Hunt, which is uh, one of the Immortal Kombat games. I want to say Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Uh, so it's got multiple different Immortal Kombat games on it. But the other ones I picked up, so Deadly Alliance. Deadly Alliance. These were, I believe these were £1 each, so I picked them up. Because you don't see that much Mortal Kombat. I have got these already, but I thought I'd pick them up again because they sometimes have a good sell-on value. Uh, and PlayStation 2, no doubt in the coming years, I think you're going to see them kind of titles step up. I uh, hadn't seen this one before, uh, Spider-Man, Friend or Foe. Uh, yeah, some brilliant stuff on the back of it as well. Just liked it. I hadn't seen that, so I picked it up as well. They were £1 each. So there we go into the collection. What have I got here? There's envelopes. Ah, oh, la, 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 let's get on to this. Now, follow me on Instagram. You would have seen some of my past videos. I am kind of a little bit obsessed with Waterworld. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the concept of the story. Uh, but I love the fact that, you know, the world's kind of come to some kind of, you know, apocalypse ending. I say apocalypse ending. There's still people there. Uh, you know, the sea levels have risen. And no one believes there's any land. I'm not going to go into the whole plot of the movie. But Waterworld with Kevin Costner. I actually enjoyed the movie. I liked it. It's one of those kind of 90 movies. that kind of, a little bit like Stargate. I could see it going into a TV series. I was hoping we'd see the same with Waterworld, but we didn't. Then I found out, I found out that Acclaim Comics had brought out a mini series of Waterworld, one to four, and it takes off just after the movie. It takes off just after the movie. So you got the Mariner there, back at sea. Um, and I was reading a little bit on land and it was like, you know, the new kind of gang he comes up against are more hardcore than the smokers. There's something to do with the government that have got an underwater kind of base. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I need to buy this. I'll read it for myself. But I picked this up to read. So Waterworld, one to four set. Uh, yeah, there's loads of different stories online. So originally this guy on the front, the mariner there, 
that's supposed to be Kevin Costner and he wouldn't apparently don't know if it's true it's online gossip rumors apparently he wouldn't get he wouldn't sign off to have his face on the front of the comic because he wasn't proud of the movie at the time when this had come out so these would have come out I would have thought these would have come out in the 90s as well claim comics but yeah one to one to four look at that picked up sorry if there's any light but yeah so I picked that up no doubt people will be going, what? There's another There's another story on Waterworld. Now, let me get this, because this is down here. So I put him... No, it's not. That's something different. No, it's here. It's here. It's there. It's everywhere. Everything's everywhere. I'll go for it in a minute. So, I said in my last video about, you know, checking out... Last pickup video about checking out Twitter pages, checking out websites of artists, because they'd be selling, you know, like a whole pack of, like, CDs, LP. So I did obviously went on the Ed Sheeran store, picked up the CD, picked up the LP. I think this set me back. What did it set me back? I'm hoping there'd be a price in here. They never put a price in with it. They give you a receipt with no price. Right. It was no more. It was no more than twenty five pound for all this. So I brought the LP because I brought it before everything was released. I brought the LP, uh, the CD, and then you get the signed pieces as well. Now they've got to send the signed piece which I was a little bit fuming about uh, in with mine. But I got it here in the end. So uh, Warner Music reached out, let them know, and they sent it out on its own. But yes, yeah, so I've got Ed Sheeran's signature there. And then I think I said in the last video as well that Ed Sheeran was selling signed CDs for £1 from Warner Music as well. There's another one there. So it's Overpass Graffiti. There's the single. So I just picked it up as well, £1, £1. Uh, they're selling a lot more than one pound at the moment, and for the bundle as well, a hell of a lot more than seventy pound online. But that just goes into like my autograph collection. Now, in terms of pickups from charity shops, everything I've seen now is kind of charity shops until the last couple of bit pieces. So, charity shop two pound. I think the trading's a hell of a lot more. I want to say maybe ten pound. Uh, but West Wing, the complete series. So I picked that up for CEX. That's for the CEX pile. So I'm gonna just leave it over there because it's going into the CEX pile. Other little random bits and pieces I've picked up, guys. So, this whole bag, because I pick up by the bag load. When I go into these charity shops, if there's quite a few. I bundle stuff in there, and I go up to the two and say, oh, look, how much uh, for everything in the bag? And they're just giving me a price. I believe I paid about three quid for everything in this bag. Because uh, they're like, yeah. And near me again, guys, I know I say this all the time. Uh, the donations, we're inundated with donations around where I am. And I know a lot of people, their charity shops, however... They say they're poor, they don't get much. I have the complete opposite where I am. I think I do really, really well. And you'll see from my charity shop, pickup videos, these pickup videos. Uh, not so much the live ones. So the live ones is me going out to other areas on my local area. The honey pot, as I call it, that's the one that might take me a five or 10 minute drive just to get to. But I know in terms of the people that live around that there's a hell of a lot more donations going into those shops. So I just go to those shops and I do these kind of pickup videos. But yes back to the video uh, so yes it's part of the bundle these were sealed uh, little retro gaming controllers I don't think there's any like special games on there like you're not going to get Mario your Sonic etc but yeah for the price it was 200 games 200 games in both so I picked those up I think I may have these already but I thought for the price and for the bundle I'll add them in now another one uh, for the CEX bundle Hawaii uh, Hawaii 5 0. Hawaii 5 0. Uh, season 1 to 5, that will just go into the CEX bundle. J literally go into the CEX bundle. I think it might be £5. Uh, and then the other bits and pieces I picked up. Now, what else did I pick up? So, book wise, not even too sure why I added this in there. Uh, I think I remember it as a child. The book, it cost £1.50 when it came out. I think it's a first print as well. Let me check. 1980. So 1980. Uh, which is four. So I, I swear I remember that book growing up. And I thought, you know, why not throw it in? The art's pretty decent that you've got inside it as well. Uh, I'm pretty certain I remember this book. But yeah, so I thought I'd pick that up. Pick that up. That'll just go into the book pile. Into the book pile. It's not going to go in there because there's no room. Uh, but it will go up here. So that will just go back in there. Now, for the 3D Blu-ray player, I don't know if I've got it, but I thought, you know, for the price, how cheap it was, Captain America, First Avenger, pick that up. 
two games because I thought, why not? The only two day I didn't know at the time, but uh, Red Alert, Red Alert three, and then Command and Conquer three. So pick those up, and then I always pick these up as I see them because they're like they they're only really going to set me back twenty to fifty p each, seventy p of max. Uh, but yeah, first, so first edition, guys. I don't know much about these first editions, uh, but first edition, woo. Um, Harry Potter. So I've got now in the boot of my car, I've got one of the big bag for life, just full of Harry Potter books. And there's a hell of a lot of these first editions in there. Obviously not the first two books, maybe three books, uh, but everything after that, I've got loads of these. So I just pick them up and just add them to the collection that I've got in the car. So that'll just go back in there. They go into the gaming pile. And that is one bag gone. Excellent. Now, next bag. And we've got some CEX pieces in there. So, in total for this bag. So, all the games that I've got in here come to £7. And I've done really well on a Saturday morning. I went out to, uh, again, just went out to charity shops very quickly. I had an hour. I like to do a little bit of a football bet on a Saturday morning. Because it keeps it keeps the Saturday mood alive. Especially as going to late afternoon uh only do one pound don't go crazy but i wait that's like kind of my little thing once a week instead of doing a lottery i do a, a one pound football bet uh and just do an accumulator on about eight teams and to be fair guys it's paid it's paid out once or twice which is always really good and it usually pays out for me i don't know why i always get stuff here a week or two weeks before christmas uh which is really good so the games in there they've all cost seven pound i've done really well they just wanted rid of the games DVDs, etc. And I just picked up a bundle of games, so we'll go through those. But in terms of these all together cost me five pounds, and I think there's twenty pound trading. So not the it's not too bad, but not the greatest for me in terms of what I'm picking stuff up for. But it was a little bit light on that day when I was picking stuff up. But Dexter one to five. Full box set. Medium, the last series. Uh, strike, the strike series. Now I've had this before and I think it trades for a five five pound. Uh, and then six foot under. So I believe whole box set as well. One to five. I hope it's one to five anyway. I believe there's twenty, but maybe twenty to thirty pound trading from CEX. So they're going to CEX. And the reason they're going to CEX, guys, I want to do another CEX video. I like bringing in and I like kind of looking for what they got. But I'm after. So the game I'm after, uh, definitely stepping up in price is Pokemon XD on the. GameCube. So they sell it in CX for 160. On eBay at the moment, I'm seeing them sell for 20. The last one I saw sold for 205. So they're stepping up on eBay, but CX haven't increased their price yet. Now, maybe that won't happen. Maybe the price will drop back down. But I, I'm thinking I'm not paid much for these DVDs that I've got here. There's not going to be hundreds of pounds there in terms of what I've paid. Mostly 10 to 20 at max. So if I can do that, flip that and get that game fantastic and that's what i'm planning to do uh, i always keep saying oh, i'm gonna go on a big spend i'm gonna get the credit and i'm gonna buy loads of playstation 2 games uh yeah it never happens guys there's always something that i just see but yes in terms of the games you're seeing now so seven pounds uh paid for these games do 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 look at this there's piles and piles and piles and that is another bag Done. So, game-wise, let's go through these. Let's put some there. I hope this doesn't block the view while we go through these. So, we will fly through these because there is another bag to do. So, you got Airblade, PlayStation 2, Airblade. And for £7, you can't go wrong. Kingdom of Hearts 2. Tony Hawk's 4. Love Tony Hawk's. Remember it as a kid. The first game, I remember picking up my PlayStation 1. That, soon, that soundtrack was amazing. Uh, Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. The disc has come loose. But yeah, got everything has manuals. Uh, which is why I thought, wow, what a bargain I've picked up here. Ratchet and Clutch. Clutch? Clunk? Free. Don't know much about these games. I never used to play this game. Uh, now, the only one I did look at and the disc looked like, and the case didn't look the best was Hit and Run. Which is always the way. It's mostly the one that's got a bit of value. Uh, not too sure how I would go on. I've got... A, I've literally got about eight, eight, nine or ten of these. I think I told the story where I passed on it about a year ago at a boot sale and everyone was commenting on the videos going, you should have picked it up. The uh, the trading value that you got on that is a crazy and, you know, it's one of the best games. And since I passed it up, ever since, I always see it in charity shops. Always see it in charity shops. And I'm, for some reason, always picking it up. It's that 
And I don't know about you guys, there must be a game you always go past and you're like, oh, not again. But you pick it up anyway. Mine's definitely hit and run. And I, I always see it, but I've stopped picking up now. I've left one in the charity shop for a couple of weeks now. Uh, Mario and Sonic uh, Olympics. Oh, my God. The amount of times I see that game. Not the London one, not the uh, Beijing one, just a normal Olympics. Not even a winter one. It's, oh. But, yeah, so I pass on that. Bioshock. I haven't seen this for a while, the first one. Uh, but yeah, I think it was there, so I thought I'd pick it up. Don't think it's got great value. Oh, I'm going to do this weird thing now where I want all the PlayStation 2 games together and all the PlayStation 3, and I even want the kind of... You know what I mean, guys. So you want the black titles together and the platinum titles together. Weird, weird OCD. Uh, but yeah, Wallace and Gromit. Spiral. Now, I need another spiral to collect complete my set uh i thought i picked this up aliens is it alien oh it's the marine one so the alien marine edition i think i've got this but i thought i'd pick it up anyway uh again not too sure if i've got this one but middle earth for the xbox uh lord of the rings oh, i was struggling there to get it out but yeah i remember this being a good game so i picked that up i think that's the first one black label as well no manual though getting on that one let's take this pile let's push this pile back over here the xbox over there now there was a few playstation 3 and one playstation 4 game but yeah minecraft and i know these hold their value so i might just check what they're actually reselling for or even what they're going for on cx because some of these will go in the pile now with ghostbusters afterlife which is an amazing movie i went and saw it opening night the reason i went and saw it opening night is because i knew people were going to spoil it online and they did, you know, I knew they would and they did because some people just can't keep it off of social media. But yes, Ghostbusters. I didn't think it was the greatest game to be fair, but picked it up. The Simpsons game, a few of those now, that was an okay game actually. Now, these two I had to go back for. So, well, we're saying, so £7 for everything. I had to go back for these and I paid a pound for both of them. Uh... But yeah, Bratz, because I didn't realise what the sell on value and the actual value of this game was. And it wasn't a game for me. It wasn't one I wanted for the collection. But when I looked at it up, when I got home, I was like, oh, I should have picked that up. So I did go back the next day and it was still there. Uh, Rock Angels. And then I just picked up because I didn't have it. I checked my collection, didn't have it. The Paris Dark Rally. Darker Rally. Didn't have that. Uh, so yeah, so I picked those two up. This is the Spiral one I think I need to finish off like my whole set of PlayStation 2 Spiral. Uh, Hero's Tale. So I think I need that one. Need to check. Need to check. So that they need a good clean as well. I feel like I need to wash my hands. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Always good to get a Crash game. And then Disney Golf. I think I may have picked that up already. It's always one of those games I look at and I'm like, actually, I think I need that. That's a very weird title. Uh, but yes, picked that up. PlayStation 3. Jurassic Park. Lego. Bowling. That's the PlayStation 4 game, Crash. I'm going to trade that in. Guys, this is another game I come across all the time. Uh, I've got about three or four of those now. So that can be traded in. I wonder if I've got one over there, but I haven't. Uh, Batman Gotham. Batman Beyond Gotham. Batman 3, Lego. Doctor Who. Didn't realise this had a sell-on value. Uh, yeah. Won't be a game for me. I may even just trade that in, but I don't have it at the moment. Minecraft. Don't know if they still hold their values and i've got two of these minecrafts already over there to go to cex so i will check that after uh and then the last few time crisis 2 that's a decent game actually with the arcades and if you can get the guns to work on your telly uh this is civil civilization even civilization got that 360 Sonic Heroes, see, they seem to be popping up everywhere. Uh, Chamber of Secrets. I actually like this game. I remember playing it on PlayStation 2. So I picked it up. Look, the pile's getting higher. And the dust is just coming off. Time Splitters 2. Absolutely classic game. I can't say enough. This is the game me and my friends used to go to all the time and play on the split screen. I uh, used to love this game. So yes, that is the games picked up for seven pound plus the pound, eight pound in total. Eight pound in total for the games. Eight pound. I think that's a bargain. To be fair, there's a bargain to be had. I will find it. 
Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Dropped. Now, we're almost getting, we're almost getting there. We're on the last bag, last bag. And there's some interesting bits and pieces. And again, this is a bundle for the bag. So there, there's two different bits here. We go through it, we go through it. So, firstly, went into one charity shop uh, and they said they just put these out and I was humming and hiring for ages. I do like my toys. If you watch the channel, you know there's a hell of a lot of toys, shows that I go to, toys that I pick up, collections, etc. Uh, saw two Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends. So the Captain Marvel, £4 they wanted, £4 per piece. Uh, I don't know why we kept looking around. I was like, oh, it wasn't, in my eyes, it wasn't the greatest movie, but I don't have anything from that movie. So I like to try and pick up one Marvel Legend character that stood out in the movie. So I would have picked up Star Lord, I can see Ant Man, Spider Man, Tom Holland, Spider Man, uh, Captain America, Iron Man. I pick up one from each of the movies, but I don't have anything from Captain Marvel. So I just picked them both up. Uh, but yeah, the cat's in there. That's the most funny bit, isn't it? The cat. So yeah, uh, pick those up. Eight pounds for those two. I was happy with those. Now, this was a little bundle. I believe, I don't, I think it's only a couple of quid I paid. That wasn't included. They're all their own bundle. So I believe I paid, oi, 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 almost, almost. So I believe I paid about two pound for this bundle here that I had, because I remember on the day this was a bundle. Now, I thought I'd done really, really well. These were gonna go in, I know these were gonna go in the bin because they said they don't sell them. Uh, but it's a pack of 10 sealed mini discs, blank mini discs. Now I will just, I will know that I just sell these on. I don't want these, I don't have a mini disc player. I'm not gonna get a mini disc player. But there's two, multicolored, look quite funky, quite retro-y. Uh, you could see when they originally come out, they were 11.99 down to £2.79. I doubt they're that now. No doubt there's gonna be some value in these older folks, because it's old tech. Uh, but yes, I will put those into the little pile over there to go. Uh, and then games again. Uh, time slips, Future Perfect, Devil May Cry 4, Stuntman. Absolutely no idea, but you know, me, if I see a game and I think, oh, might need that. I need to start getting some lists together. I think that's the, I ain't gonna get no lists together. I don't even know why I'm saying that. I'm not one of those people. I won't end up doing it. Uh, let's move away from that. But another box set, The World at War. The ultimate restored edition. Uh, so pick that up. I think again, sell on value. I think it's five pound in CX. So it just going to the CX pile. Then this was a bargain. So this was a whole pile of books. Now I'm looking at it. I'm like, why are you picking up books? But it was two pound. It was two pound for a bundle of books uh, out of one of the charity shops I usually go into, and I do quite well. Uh, but yeah, two pound for all the books and. It was mostly graphic novels. So I thought, you know what? Hell, why not? And the, this charity shop I'm going to, they usually do book bundles, two pounds. Uh, it's no more than that. Uh, but yeah, this all had an elastic band around it. I thought oh, I'm picking this up. But so, and it's mostly like graphic novels. So you've got Pokemon, what are these? Pokemon Adventures, uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, book one and two. Now you, I'm holding them that way, but I know you have to read these things backwards. So you got these two here. These were the first two that were part of it. So let's put them over there. Then this mammoth graphic novel was put in there, which is crazy. When it first came out, it was 20 pound, but I've got to make sure I'm looking at something that don't look too, you never, you can never be too sure of graphic novels, what you, page you can open it up to, but yeah, the art just looked amazing. Craig Thompson, I oh, give that a go, give that a go. Uh, another one, another graphic novel here. Again, just that they they just bundled them because they're graphic novels together, so I picked them up. One of the ones I was like, yes, hell yes, from the 90s. And who doesn't remember Beavis and Butthead? Uh, they, they were huge, weren't they? You had trading cards, figures, TV show. But yeah, that, that's quality comic, kind of. The comics, the comic work I kind of grew up on. Uh, by Marvel, Titans. Uh, but yeah, look at the back. Beavis and Butthead greatest hits. So that was part of it. Uh, absolute no idea. But yeah, another one that was put in there. Nazis, dinosaurs, and a war of all time. Uh, signed as well by the creator, I'm assuming. So, I don't even know what this is about. It looks like they've built some kind of time machine. But yeah, no doubt I'll just flick through that. Uh, 
This was an interesting one was in there because no doubt this is newer, I would have thought. Uh, but amazing, fantastic, incredible Stanley. So that was in there. I don't know what this is actually about. Oh, it looks like it's a... I want to say it's a comic to do with Stan. Loads of different comics to do with Stan. Uh, yeah, this looks quite interesting. So I picked that up. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, guys, if you can't see it as well as what I can. Uh, nameless. Nameless. Now, I didn't pick this up when it first came out from Image, but yeah, there's a graphic novel there, and I thought, oh, why not? I picked that up. Uh, that would be one that I'd mostly read, so I picked that up. That was part of it. And then at the bottom of the pile... And a bit of weight to it, Fantastic Beast. Is it a Fantastic Beast? Fantastic Beast and where to find them. The Case of Beast. Explore the films we destroy. So you've got that. And yeah, when I open this up, this thing is pretty intense. There's a lot of like pull out bits and pieces from the movie. Uh, hopefully I'm doing this justice. There's blueprints. There's newspaper cuttings of like most wanted. There's loads of little bits and pieces that pop out. So you've got, you know, oh, something's going to fall out, no doubt. But yeah, look, there's another one there. Fighting model, modern evils. So that would have been something that would have handed out, no doubt, uh, to the church. But yeah, I was happy with that. I was happy with that bundle for £2. So that was kind of £2 bundle, £2 heavy bundle. So that, that is everything from the bag, guys. Now, the last few bits, and I know you've seen those already. They just have to go back on there. Top trump cards. Now, I picked these up. I think I paid one pound for these uh, at a toy fair. One that I didn't film and I should have filmed, really. I went to Alpenton Toy Fair, and it, it wasn't too bad, to be fair. There's a lot of decent bits and pieces, traders, catalogues, etc. So I was looking at old toys. But I don't know, these just stand, these stood out to me because they're like monsters, creatures, in terms of werewolves, goblins, fairies, witches, everything. And I thought, you know what? I'll pick those up because I like the art alone and I do like my kind of uh, paranormal. Can you say it's paranormal wizards and everything? But you know where I'm going with this. So I picked that up, uh, thought that was good. Comic wise, so I'm always picking up my weekly comics. I'm always picking up, you know, the nice house on the lakes. I'm not going to show that off Justice League of America. One comic I did pick up and I've been after for a while. Uh, my Star Wars collection that I'm building up and I haven't got a lot more to complete it. And this is a fantastic series from Marvel. Took off just after the movie as well. So you had the movies and then Marvel brought out, I think it went up to 107. So issue 107 or 110. Uh, and those later issues were very hard to get because they had a low print run, which I got all those first. Uh, and then I got the first, I want to say like the first 30, uh, missing some keys as well. But th the main reason I started collecting this series was I went to a car boot sale. And we're talking mostly guys, mostly like eight years ago, maybe 10 years ago. And there was an elderly gentleman there. I was collecting comics and this is when stuff was a lot more easier to get hold of at car boot sales. You'd go there, there wasn't much competition. And you'd find stuff. And I remember going there. It was like about 10.30. Because uh, I remember the day. Because I was like, oh my God. it's one To me, it's one of my best finds. And the guy had a bunch of comics behind him. And I said, oh, your comics are so. He said, yeah, yeah. If you want the lot, they're £10. So I started going through them. And it's the original Star Wars series. Uh, so it had loads. In, it had like one up to 30. It had like then about 10, 20 missing. Then it had another load up to 80. But there, guys, I want to say there was at least about 80 comics here for £10. And they were all Star Wars of the, this Marvel series. So I was like, yeah, I'll take them. And I felt like I'd won the lottery. It's mostly one of my biggest finds for a while. Uh, and then, yeah, I thought, you know what? I'm going to collect the series. So I started picking them up. Now, when I got home, some of the keys were missing, which was one of the, this one as well, which is issue 42. Uh, first Boba Fett in Marvel Comics. And given everything that's going on at the moment with Disney+, Plus, you'd see these issues just absolutely increase in price. So... I got this for a decent price. It was a bit of change though, no doubt. Uh, just over the £100 mark. But you're not going to see it. And it sells for a hell of a lot more of that. My local comic shop done me a really good deal. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I picked that up. That's mostly one of my bits. That I'm like, oh, that's 100% going into the collection. And it helps finish that set. Then, the last one I had delivered. I think I put this on Instagram anyway. I did order. I did order. 
the and you're going back in June when I ordered this. I haven't opened it yet either. I need to play it. But I did order the Zelda Game and Watch. Guys, you know me, I picked up the Mario one. I'm besotted with these game and watch things. I love gaming anyway. But you can kind of see on the back some of the bits. Yeah, it tells the time and that, but I'm more for playing the game. Now, everyone was absolutely ribbing Nintendo because they said they're going to give you a free gift with it. And it was like this little screen cleaner of the Zelda game. And everyone's like, what? Is that what you're giving as a free gift? That is poor. But I wasn't expecting to get anything. So for them just to give that, I'm quite, I'm happy with that. Now, I've still got it in the... I mostly won't open this, to be fair. That's, no doubt, the holder in me, the collector in me, or I'm just sad. Uh, I'm not too sure which one it is yet, and I've not decided that I've come up with the answer uh, for which one I'm going to... which bracket I'm going to put myself in. But yes, pick this up. Uh, I'm sad enough that I mostly won't even throw the cardboard because I like the Mario cardboard. So that kind of tells you something about my character right there. But that and all, that is everything I've picked up in terms of uh, pick up from the charity shops in the last week or two. I say last two weeks. Let's say last two weeks because I would have posted some of this online. I think about two weeks ago. So I think over the two weeks, that's what I've picked up. Really happy with the gaming stuff. You know, the comics definitely going to be the pick up for me. Uh, I'm loving that I can still get CEX pieces, and that's the main reason I do the charity shop pieces. I think you have to go there with an open mind to think. Actually, I don't think I'm going to find too much. I always end up finding bits and pieces and getting good deals. Uh, but the main thing for the me at the moment that's keeping the buzz of going to the charity shops alive is I'm, I just want to build this CX pile. I like going to CX. I like the whole going in and trading it in, not really knowing. I kind of got an inkling of what I get, but it's never 100% what you think for me anyway because a disc might be scratched. I don't bother checking any of that. I really should. Uh, I just bring them in. I just make sure all the discs are there and then bring them in. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to bringing that in, getting the money for that, and then hopefully getting this Pokemon XD. And then in terms of GameCube games, I think I'm there in terms of my Pokemon games. I have Channel, I've got Box, uh, I've got Coliseum, and then I'll have the XD, and I think I'm done. Now, I don't know if I'll start pushing into other Pokemon games, because something in my head was like, actually, should we just try and get all the Pokemon games that have come out? Even if they're open, don't have to be sealed, just open Pokemon games. Uh, so I started going into a little bit of a trend on that, hence why I'm after the Pokemon XD. Uh, so yes, let's leave it there. Guys, coming up, there will be a couple more videos. Uh, videos have been coming out a little bit late at the moment because I'm just working on other bits and pieces on the background. Work, my actual work, there's a hell of a lot going on. I work in a retail business and obviously with Christmas, it is the busiest time of the year and there's a lot to do. So I'm helping out where I can there and got my own bits and pieces to be sorting out at work. Uh, but videos coming up, no doubt you'll have this one, which is the pickup video. No doubt there's going to be other pickup videos because I'm always just getting out when I can and picking bits and pieces up. I haven't gone to a boot sale for about three weeks. I want to get to one this week. I keep saying, and guys, it's not that I'm... Well, you could say I'm being lazy. I think because the weekends go so quick now, and I think it's because the dark, it's dark, it's gloomy. You try and get out, you try and do something fun during the day. And then you come back and then when I wake up on that Sunday morning, I don't know about you guys, it is, uh, it's an excuse, isn't it? But it is absolutely freezing, absolutely freezing cold. And I'm like, actually, do I get back into this teddy bear blanket or duvet and just go back to bed? Yes, I have got a teddy bear duvet. It's The missus loved it. We got it. And I have to admit, I've fallen in love with it because it's, it's so warm. Uh, but yeah, so... It's tough. I'm, I keep saying, boot fairs are still going on where I am. I'm, I'm watching everyone who's local to me. So you've got like Tom from Bizarro's Pieces. Uh, picked up some decent bits and pieces this week and gone, Tom. Dungeons and Dragons, board games, kind of the uh, book booklets, the guides, etc. So I loved seeing his Instagram updates. And then Ed Hunt as well. I like watching these videos. Doesn't necessarily go for toy bits and pieces, but I've seen some toys in his videos in the background and i'm like oh my god there's hasbro wrestlers for instance there's echo ones there there's some star Wars bits and pieces so it's making me think actually and it's the it's the boot sale i go to so it's like do i need to go to that boot sale now there is another boot sale this sunday we're not too sure if it'll be the last one or not uh but they just keep rolling these things now my winter boot sales which should have started local to me they put on hold till january so they're going to relook in january and say they're going to start it again uh, but it's good we've still got the normal summertime ones that are extended for us. So this one that I'm going to potentially on Sunday, I keep saying I'm going to go. I will try everything to get up. I will embrace the coldness, uh, the freezing temperatures to go to this uh, this week's Sunday boot sale, even if it's just to get out and see what's about still, because the guys are picking up some decent stuff. 
Uh, the other bit I'm not too keen on is when you start the boot sale video for me, when you see the darkness and you just see a torch, you're like, oh no, I don't know, I don't know how long I can watch of this. Don't know how long I can watch. Uh, and you want to see something really good in the first, I'd say to me, I want to see something good in the first 10 seconds or minute, not 10 seconds, that's a little bit harsh, but you want to see something good in the first minute to actually say, actually, I'm invested. If it's dark and you've got a torch on site, it's like, oh, there's going to be some good bits here. Or the thumbnail needs to, it needs to pop. It needs to pop. So you need, that. hence why I do the little four split. And I'll show you some bits I find later in the video. So it kind of keeps you still intrigued and to tell you that there's some good things coming up, guys. Please bear with me. But so I don't like filming when it's really dark like that. It's kind of a put off. But I have invested in a, this light, which you know, if you've watched my videos from the start, I went to buy a light for last season's dark boot sales because I just had my phone light and I brought a light from China. I thought it said it was coming in January 2020. It actually turned up January 2021. It had a year on it to come over because of COVID. And I was like, I didn't read the small print, but I've got I've got that light. I've had that light it come a little bit earlier than that. I want to say it comes September time, most probably. But it goes on your head. Uh, it it feels it's from China. It feels like it's gonna. It feels like it's really overheating. Hence, I haven't put it on my head because since putting it on my head and feeling it, it's really really bright though. It mostly light the whole boot cell filled up. I've had it outside in the house, and you shine it up to the sky, and you can. It looks like the bloody bat signal. It's just this beam of light going up. So it's bloody bright. Uh, but I've I've had it I've had it once to the boot cell, but I had it on my hand because it starts to heat up, and I'm like, actually, I don't want it. And all of a sudden, half my head blows off because this thing from China just self-destructs and blows half my head off. Uh, that mostly won't happen, but I'm just overthinking it. You never know. So I haven't put it on my head yet, but I will still bring it and use it as a torch this weekend if I go. Uh, that is a long-winded story into the boot cell, but I will be do doing a boot cell video. I keep saying I will. I'm going to get out there. There's a couple of toy fairs coming up as well. Uh, obviously, we have Christmas around, and there's, you know, I, I like Christmas. Mostly spend a lot more money, like most people, on, on loved ones. Uh, family etc so uh, yeah I kind of concentrate more on Christmas now but I have got a couple of toy fairs I want to go to when I get paid next I get paid a week before Christmas there's a toy fair a week before Christmas near me so I will go and do a film and I think I'll mostly release that one Christmas week or I might release it Christmas day because I'm always bored Christmas day guys uh, I'm not ungrateful I'm definitely not ungrateful for what I get but I do get bored Christmas day and I find myself looking on YouTube so I'm wondering if I do that no doubt other people do that and if I can put something on there that people go ah oh, even if it's like a 30 minute tour of a toy uh, uh, oh, what was I going to say a toy fair etc at least it's something to watch instead of watching the boring stuff that's on telly uh, you know oh, there's so much or you're just sitting there and you're boiling like I just need something to take the pain away for 30 minutes please and then I'll be back with a family and friends and I'm back to my happy self just give me my little 30, 30 minutes of retro goodness uh, so I will put something out Christmas Day. I'll hold, I'll hold that Toy Fair one back. I think the Toy Fair is on the 17th, 16th or 17th of December. I'll put it all together and I'll hold it back till the 25th and uh, put it out Christmas Day. Uh, just see how that does. But yeah, apart from that, it literally just be pickups. I'm going to do another charity shop, live charity shop tour. I haven't been to some of the areas in Bromley for a while. I, I think I've said this before when I go to West Wick and Beckenham, etc., uh, which areas near me charity shops I tend not to do them weekly if I'm going to film with a GoPro because you will just see the same stuff so I try to give it a month or two go in there and just see what different stuff they've got and sometimes you get some these stuff sometimes it's an absolute miss uh, but I still put that footage out and I just say in the comments you, you got, I'll be very honest in terms of the description if there hasn't been much there like my last charity shop there's nothing in the charity shops apart from one PS one game Tetris block uh, but I went to CEX and they had Mega Drive games which were unboxed, which they had priced as unboxed, but they were boxed. Uh, and I've done well there with the Power Rangers. I've got them down there actually. Power Rangers and Sonic 2. So I was really happy with that. Uh, I did go back into that CEX in Alpenton and everything's priced correctly. Uh, damn. But yeah, but I'm always on the lookout for that kind of stuff as well. But yes, I'm going to leave it there. So there will be some live videos coming up. I think in terms of your major toy fairs, like major toy fairs, I mean like Sandan, NEC. They finished now. You've got an NEC one, I want to say on the 29th. I think it's a Monday or a Tuesday. Uh, but Birmingham, Birmingham for me, it's, it's mostly three and a half hours. I want to say three to four hours drive one way and then three to four hours drive back because you're going to stop, etc. It's a long day of driving and I'm the only one that drives out of my... Well, my brother doesn't drive and some of my friends don't drive. So I know I'd be driving there. I just don't fancy the drive uh, to do eight hours of driving, potentially. 
not for me, so I tend to give that a miss. Don't really want to get the train because the train again, uh, I'd have to go into London to go out of London to come back into London and then get a train back home even though I live in London, it's crazy. Uh, so the travel didn't work out, but a train didn't even work out any more better. And if anything, it worked out more expensive given filling up a whole tank of petrol. So that's where I am, guys. So there should be... Look, let's just get back to it. I'm waffling. Uh, but there should be... There'll be another pickup video, no doubt. There will be another pickup video. Maybe another two. There'll be live charity shop videos. A toy fair video. I'm going to do a boot sale video. I'll commit I'm going to go this weekend. I'm going to go. It's waking up and it's pitch, it's pitch dark out there, guys. Uh, but other people are doing it. And other people... You, you know, you def I still get that buzz. I'm not going to say I've lost any buzz. I haven't lost a buzz. But when you get up, the buzz is still there. And I think when you get up and it's dark, you're like, no, 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 go back to bed. You go back to bed and you wake up at like eight or nine. And to me, I'm like, I've already missed it. There's no point going to the boot sale. But you still got that adrenaline of the buzz. And you're like, oh, what am I, where am I going to go to take away this like little buzz that I need taken away? Uh, and I usually go to the charity shops around me or the charity shops I do well in because they're open on a Sunday. Uh, and I still find decent stuff. And while I'm finding decent stuff at the charity shops, like I am still now, uh, massively still enjoying it it'd be good for some collections to come up i tend not to find them as much but i have started to dip back into comics slightly with the uh, the star war pickup and add some more comics in there uh toys and some i want to say like adventure the role play games the adventure the adventure games like dungeons and dragons the marvel the dc ones i saw in there and i did pick a few i've picked a few of those up in the past so no doubt you'll see videos like that as we go into the new year let's just talk about new year because i'm waffling now he's going to the new year i'm a hundred percent i want to get him fit out and visit some shops again uh because you know christmas is sorted much more money to play with all my kind of bills i don't know why i'm talking about this but all my bills in terms of life insurance house insurance i paid a whole lot in january so january i'll try and get out to one of the shops but i want to get out to like gaming shops again i want to go to play nation uh, i know ed uh ed hunt's been there it looks amazing so i'd like to get out there i want to get back down to retro hunter another gaming shop and i want to get out to nerd base 100 percent. in my eyes it's, it's the toy shop that does all the stuff that i grew up with what i like from the 90s late 80s 90s and some of the newer stuff and this is the thing why why the kind of whole community is it's a lot more expensive for toys because you're trying to buy old toys and all of a sudden hasbro kenner mattel uh or even super seven they bring out these new toys AEW, for instance they bring out all these newer toys that are either updated or something that's got a fin vintage retro look to it and then you want to get that as well and it's like actually you're kind of in some dilemma where you're like do I buy the old stuff? I want to buy the old stuff, but the new stuff looks brilliant as well. And the art is absolutely amazing and it stands out, especially some of the Super 7 stuff. Uh, so there's a lot in terms of, I want to get in terms of toys still. And then gaming isn't as bad. I haven't got any of the newer consoles. I tend to buy them as I start to see them again at boot sales, charity shops. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to see a PS5 for some time. Uh, but yeah, I just pick up the old stuff. So I'm not too, not too bad with games. But like I said, some of the games I want now, the gaming prices have really stepped up. I knew that had happened. I've been saying it for ages on my videos. You can kind of see uh, where America is and you can see where we're going. You can see it with every trend. Guys, we used to see it back in the 90s or the 80s with clothing, you know, toys. You'd know like if He-Man, he Master of the Universe, I remember it as I was growing up, or Turtles. Huge in America. It's all this buzz. All of a sudden it comes over to the UK. We kind of get the second wave of it. Uh, and gaming's been like that for some time in America and it didn't really... Pokemon cards, another one. I'll come off Pokemon cards, but Pokemon cards went, were huge, dropped off next to nothing, massive in the States, again, really pushed by YouTubers and collectors. Uh, and then it was massive over here and still is now. You know, we've got grading companies popping up left, right and centre at the moment. Uh, but yeah, on the gaming pieces, you can see in America at the moment, I watch a lot of the American YouTubers, like most of you do. And you can see gaming, it's not stopping, it's picking up. I think CEX is even a little bit behind. Even the max prices they're selling stuff for. Use the Pokemon XD for as you know as an example. I saw one sell for two hundred and five. They're still selling it for one sixty. So you can see, you know, games are stepping up. Uh, definitely one to watch out for. But even empty boxes. So people say I'm mad when I'm picking up empty empty cases and boxes. I think I watched Retro Rick, who does an American uh, 
American YouTube channel, does a lot of gaming, but he, he hunts down everything retro related. More gaming, but he does pick up toys, VHSs, etc. He sells at some of the bigger gaming cons. Uh, and he was just at a gaming con in his last video. And it was interesting because he watched and he's, there was an N64 case which was selling on its own to a game. I don't think there's anything special about the game, uh, but selling for $75. So you can tell people what people are still charge people are starting to charge just as much for the games what they would have been if it's just for the cases with the manuals because people just want to complete the collectors want to com want to complete something so they want the manuals they want the boxes and necessarily as we were growing up and you know we're, we're all guilty of it we would have been ripping open that box just to get to the toy just to get to the game we didn't care about the box that was all like unnecessary packaging that would just go in the bin and you'd see it at christmas you'd go you drive past or you're driving back home from relatives you'd see bins mountains of bins of bloody cardboard and plastic wouldn't you and you're like oh the bin man needs to hurry up and come and collect this uh but yeah now with the, with your modern day collectors and especially i'd say even children you see children now when they're you know toys and gaming it's not as big as when we were when i was a child uh but you see kids nowadays, they collect the Funko Pops, don't they? They keep them in the boxes. They collect toys, they keep them in the boxes. They're on shelves. You kind of see tours of people's rooms. You see people when they're talking, they've got them in the background. On, you, you, you don't really see a lot of loose bits and pieces. Uh, so it's it's interesting how it's changed over time. But yes, that yeah, guys, I'm waffling. I'm waffling. It should have finished. I should have finished. But yeah, that, that's what I've got coming up. That's a little bit of waffle. I'd love to do some live chats as well. Time is just too... It's just draining at the moment to do a few live chats. I wanted to do. I wanted to set a few up myself. Uh, I've got a perfect idea for what I want to do for live chats, and it will work a hundred percent. It'd be brilliant. It'd be very snappy, uh, and I think you get a lot of people watching it because of the kind of theme around it and what I wanted to do and how I wanted that to work. It would work really well. Uh, I don't want to give too much away on that because no doubt that will come in the new year as I get a little bit more time. I can put some of these together in the evenings and as it gets lighter again. Because uh, at the moment it is depressing. I'm one of those people. I get depressed when it starts getting darker, like three o'clock in the afternoon over here. But it could be worse. We could be in Alaska and have this like what is it like, forty or sixty days of like darkness now until January the twenty third. Got thoughts are with you guys. If anyone watches from Alaska, I don't know, but uh, yeah, crazy. Uh, but yes, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching uh yeah thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't there's gonna there's still a lot of content to come in the new year i'm gonna get a new gopro as well i should have said that i'm gonna get a new gopro so i'm gonna get the 10 i've been looking at it, looking at it and the reason i'm getting a 10 guys very quickly i'm still waffling very quickly on the front of the gopro and i'm pointing here you guys can't see this i don't have a screen on the front of the gopro so when i see this ring of death which people were always commenting in my first videos and when i do these you get this light ring i call it the ring of death because it reminds me of the xbox but it's one of these ring lights and the, the ring of death goes on anything that's plastic here shine off it because they're not made for that really they're made for these makeup videos aren't they or to brighten people's faces to really bring you in focus when you're filming but i use it just to add some light to the building so it's mostly not the right light but i'm getting a gopro 10 it's got the screen on the front so if there is any of this ring of death i can kind of pull the product back or i can know what i need to do in terms of positioning with lighting so i'm looking forward to that and i'm also going to buy the mic for it and the light that goes on top of it as well so that gopro light should be better than the light i've got here uh so i'm stepping up my game a little bit stepping up my game and then i do need to get this sorted like there's stuff that's going into collection in terms of everything that i've got around here the stuff that's going into collection there's stuff i need to shift uh, and then I want to set up, I've always said I want to set up a little area where I've just got this, a desk, not this desk, but a desk, a few little items in the background and we do these videos a little bit better than what I'm doing them at the moment. A little bit light if you watch Retro Rick, uh, and some of you might not, but some of the other YouTubers you watch, where we've got a bit of a better setup in the background, you know, it looks, it looks a little bit more professional than what it currently does here. But we're starting, we've only been going, I've only been going now for, I think it's coming up it was a year in july june or july i believe so what about a year and a half so yeah it's still going we're still early we're still baby still baby uh but yeah it'd be great to get some more subs no doubt and hopefully we're doing the new year as we keep pushing on with these videos i just keep building the video contents because if i do get any new subscribers at least they can go back and look at some of the other videos that we've i've done i keep saying we i keep saying we because my brother comes along and if you haven't watched the sand down video watch the sand down video he thought he'd make a theme tune at the beginning and at the end of that video. Uh, and 
yeah, he's, he's absolutely balmy, but we wouldn't take him any other way, no doubt. Uh, but yes, on that note, guys, let's leave it there. Stay safe, take care. Till next time, be safe again. I say it every time. Uh, yeah, stay safe, everyone.